Now we're going to cover having a camera orbit an object. This is a really short and easy tutorial but uh, might not be something that you realize how to do yet so this will just really quickly and easily show you how to do it. So to start off with I have an object here and I have a camera. This is the camera's view and I want to orbit the camera around the object. So what I'm going to do is from a top view I'm going to shift A add a curve and I'm going to make that curve a circle and I'm going to scale this up and this circle is going to be the camera path and it it can either come right out to where the camera is or it can be a little smaller or a little larger either way we'll do it a little smaller in this case so the next step I'm just going to uh, parent the camera as a child to the circle as a parent. So child meet your parent, select the camera first, shift click to select the circle second, control P and you'll see I have this this option here called follow path. So if I click there you can see that we now have a dotted line traveling from the camera to the circle and if I hit the space bar you can see how the camera behaves now. It just orbits around the object and you might think great we're done but we need probably a little bit more control than this so there are a couple of other things that we can do here first of all our camera is orbiting around our object pretty quickly matter of fact it's orbiting completely around every 100 frames and that's just a default setting so I don't want it to go all around that quickly I have a 250 frame 250 frame timeline here I want it to take all 250 frames and just orbit around completely once so in order to do that I can select the path select the circle here and you'll see I now have some object data properties for a path this little green arc here if I click on that you can see path animation is checked that's because of the parenting that I did you can see that it has a number of frames that it's supposed to take to complete. So I can just change that from 100 to 250 and now you can see that the camera is moving more slowly. It'll complete its revolution in all the time that it has and that makes for a perfect loop if I were to render this out as an animation now. Now one other thing you might notice as you watch this is it's a little bit bumpy and it doesn't look too bad uh, in this instance but it kind of the camera kind of bumps a little and that's because this curve has a finite resolution if we zoom way in you can see that the curve changes angles pretty abruptly it's not very rounded it's it uh, it breaks down if we really examine it and that is the resolution of our uh, camera here so I'm going to just increase the resolution let's go from 12 to 48 and you can see that the circle got more smooth now and now it's a smoother orbit around my object so that's a couple of things that you can do you can change the timing you can also increase the resolution so that it looks a little better and basically that's a quick and easy way to orbit an object with a camera have a good day.